Lydia Priestess Honeymoon. Hello, hello. Testing, testing. Is this thing on? <laughs> Can you hear me? Can you hear me out there? It's me, Priestess Honeymoon. With the crooked teeth and the mustache. Loving it all. <sighs> what do I want to talk about today? It's like day 300 and... 59 baby oh so close to the end of my challenge and just a lot coming up like really was even feeling into like wow what if i don't like finish this challenge or like how am i gonna finish this challenge off strong and then i had that thought of like well what if I, like maybe i shouldn't even finish it like those fears kicking in i'm like whoa what is gonna happen at the end of this challenge and like really feeling into like how I'm gonna celebrate me at the end of this challenge and all of my glory and stepping into this goddess in a body just being me loving every part of myself and just really <laughs> Ah, embracing my highest self, living from my highest self, and like fears kicking in, you know, the fears and the feelings and the programming and the, all of it coming in, just letting it be here, knowing that it's, you know, I don't mean to believe the lies, I don't mean to feed into it, but I can feel those things. They are real. They are here. But I don't need to believe it. I am doing it. I'm living my life, writing these new stories in this time between stories. Like, what does my heart think? What does my mind feel? <laughs> I'm waiting, waiting for that response and just really like living the life that I'm wanting to create, creating the life that I want to live, <laughs> doing it, doing it, doing it well, doing it all, like just being with it, and so much has happened in the last like even 24 hours, just be sitting with so much judgment, and judgment of self, you know, had a visit from a CAS worker, and just like really feeling that, feeling the heaviness of that, and the fears around that, even though I know I'm doing the best possible job with my kids, but being like, oh, this is different, this isn't the way that's known, but like, what could be said, what could happen, like, things happen, you know, where Hmm, not even gonna go there. She was such an amazing worker and it was such a blessing that she came into my life and like looking at the good, looking at the good in every situation. I'm just like, wow, and then like getting over this virus in my van. I was supposed to get it fixed before going away for the weekend and it didn't happen and then I was like the stress over that, like, oh my gosh, I'm like, is my van going to be okay? And then it's like, oh, I'm not even packed and ready, it's after midnight. And it's like, wow, like, I know that the things, too, that I want to be doing, you know, the same things coming up, like, oh, my house isn't ready, or this isn't ready, or this, and it's like, I can do better. I know I can. Watching my language, being like, oh, I'm trying not to worry. No, I'm not trying not to worry. I'm not worrying. I don't worry. Like, my words are power, so being careful about that stuff and being like, oh, okay with what is, too, you know, this whole thing of like, wow, I'm this, I'm this, like, I rise above that, I live this, you know, live by the spiritual life, yeah, I do, but like, I'm still human and I make mistakes and I'm gonna fail and I'm gonna fuck up and I'm gonna feel shit you know it's not like oh that's just this like i don't i don't have to feel that i'm this and it's like no that's denial like live it live it breathe it be it <laughs> so much love so excited for my last 
five days. Happy Thanksgiving. Be grateful every single day. Give thanks just for just for being alive. Check out my Facebook group, Ottawa Women's Circles. Hosting a women's circle on Tuesday. Super excited just to follow these calls. Let's talk about sex. Baby, let's talk about you and me. Let's get this topic normalized and create the life we want. Ah. Plus, so much love. Mwah.